There we go. I'm good, Deborah. How are you? Y'all, they messed with my setup today, and now it's all janky. Blame your partner on that. Sure, I saw you on camera. <laughs> Blame all right. Hey, hey. All right, so this one is one that is a multiple. It's sold over and over again. So I just need to make it the same way. So we're gonna start cutting a few 16 inch strips of ribbon. One. Uh, by a few, I mean five. It's literally a zoo, listen. You saw the box of Parker and you really like it? Y'all, now that we finally have second roof sign, I can put my other roof sign on my front door. They don't match, but it's double the roof. All right, five ribbons, about 16 inches long. Not 16, 18, did I cut them 16? I didn't, they're 18, okay. Y'all, fold it six inches over and then a six inch tail up. So your three pieces should be about the same size, just like that. All right, then you're gonna give it a good little pinch and you're just gonna hold it together like that. So measure out your six inches. What's up, Lori Cox Toops? Lori, you've been live a lot, girl. She tried sneaking live in the middle of the day today like I wasn't gonna find her. <laughs> Y'all, Tammy worked in here all day and she kept saying it's so hot and I'm like, the air is on 70, she's on her mind. No, it's hot. Y'all. These fools been working in here with one AC. It was so hot. Well, that's okay. I probably lost seven pounds. I'm here for it. <laughs> I realized. Oh. All right. We're just bundling these all up. So you see how we're getting those little loops and our tails like a little flower petal. Elaine, you were like your main subscription box. It's all good. I'm glad that you loved it. I think for some people it's kind of a shocker because they signed up in the month with the freebies. When we get, so every quarter we give free gifts. And if they signed up on a free gift month where the box was worth like $150, then they signed up and got a $70 or $80 box. It seems like a lot less. Right. So, you know, I understand how people can be like, what the heck? All right, now that we've got them all bundled, we're going to put a little zip tie. She has her, Hermione's. Hormones? Hold on. I need to find where you're at. Hermione seems like you need a cream for Penicillin. Somebody needs penicillin. Derica, I uh, understand that Jordan is getting here tomorrow. You got an infusion for COVID. Bonnie, you got the COVID? You went to Jazz Fest, didn't you? Derica, you just come on. She's going to be like, heck no. Look, All right. Y'all, look how it makes like a little flower. Hey, Julie Bishop. The workstation looks amazing, except it's at my crotch. You can't say stuff like that with my mouth. 
So I'm not really sure what Tammy is trying to do on camera today, but... Well, because when it was up to your crotch height... cam ain't it. When it was up to your height, it looked like two toddlers were underneath my shirt sitting on the, their head on the table. I was like, why can they see my shorts? That's why. All right. Y'all, we're going to grab a little bit of my favorite vine that you can rate. Have you played with this one? No, I wanted to today. And I literally said, I'm not going to touch that because I think that's for something else. I put made you a box of Halloween underneath there on purpose. Yeah. The problem, though, is that I had boxes over there that were all of the door hanger kits. I didn't touch them. They're gone. These ones weren't. I didn't touch anything on here. I one, only did this side. There was two right there and one right there. So when they sold, the girls could just come over and grab what I they needed. I only did this. Nothing over here. Yeah, but the two boxes that were right there are gone. They'll find them. They know it's worth more. So, y'all, we've been training the girls in the warehouse who like to make stuff, how to make some of these door hangers. That way, if they sell when I'm going, we're not in trouble. Y'all, Tammy likes the uh, nail gun. Uh, yes. I can't believe it doesn't go through the back. It's amazing. Y'all, we need a door hanger on here. So I like to wing it. Does that make you nervous? To wing it? I wing it every time I go live. Most of the time. Yeah, but to make sure this is even, like in the middle. Oh. You can figure it out on your mat. Yeah. So y'all, if you put it, the door hanger is about 17.75. So what's half of that? Is this math class? Yeah. It's like 8.75, isn't it? No. no. So, right up here is our center. I have a little ink pen. I put two little dots on both sides of my finger. It's real sophisticated. Then I take some of this weird twine stuff. It's like thin wire, but it's coated. Wrapped. Yeah. I saw that earlier. I do about I 36 it. inches. That's over there. Fold it in half. Then fold it in half again. What doesn't make Tammy nervous? Jordan, listen, I brought her to eat Mexican and queso. And then she went live within 30 minutes. And she's okay. It didn't make me sick. I'm telling you, it's the Dr. Pepper. All right, fold it in half again. Derek is in crabs. Maybe they're sticking crabs on the beach. They do make me nervous. You upgraded your box last month. Got no shipping number for this month's box. Uh, just email customer service at info at damonotes.com. Depending on uh, when you signed up, maybe it hasn't renewed yet for that month, but the girls can help you out. Y'all, if you haven't checked out the stapler thing and you staple a lot of things, you definitely need one. And if I remember right, it was only like 50 or 60 bucks. When you think about the price of a regular staple gun, Tammy told me this was on, but I think she liked it. I turned it on, I turned it back off. I used it while going. Did you see what somebody told, they were bragging on me because earlier those on my live on my page were telling me to get some lemons off your tree and I said if you lost the whole mine I'm not getting lemons off this tree y'all no no friend we don't do that I would have known I would never have done that I was like oh, we'll think about lemons first it's not there's a whole lemon thing over there I oh, have it's plenty. probably higher than she can reach I had plenty they were like turn around and get one off the tree and I said, no thank you Oh, you can do it the wrap of David Ernst. I wonder if I can use this to do my making my no stone project. You're not cheating. No, no. But I bet you you could. I don't know. Alright. Get my green right back. No so, no glue. Just maniac staples. 
I did not have a Dr. Pepper. I had a diet Dr. Pepper today, and I was sicker than a dog within 15 minutes. So no more even diet for me. I can't tell you the last time I had a regular Dr. Pepper. Derricka said I can't use the stapler. Who said that? Derricka. Oh, yeah. No, he cannot. What keeps the stables from coming through? They're just a little too short to get there. It happens sometimes. She's not listening, y'all. All right. Y'all, then we're going to take our little bow. We're going to fold some of our tails down a little bit. And we're going to staple that right down to our board as well. Tammy and her dang Dr. Pepper. I know, Jordan. I know. Sarah, you do need this stapler. Sarah, send me your address and I'll send you a stapler. Sarah who? Sarah's the one who did this. She did this for me. Oh, Sarah, Sarah. Yeah. I was like, which Sarah? I need to know Sarah's last name so I can see what favors she has to do to get a stapler. Sarah, Sarah. Well, she deserves that. Sarah does all the favors for drawing signs for me. Y'all, am I out of staples? There we go. Y'all, if you're not following uh, Sarah, who just commented, you definitely should. She teaches you how to draw and procreate. Sarah Frost. Yeah, Sarah Frost. She is from Chasing Rue Designs, and she did the autism one, too. Oh, really? I love that one. Yeah. I think that's the only two that I have for her tonight. Yeah. So if you're interested in learning how to make stuff and procreate, or how to paint door hangers, like legit paint, not cheap like I do impress a button and paint, uh, you definitely want to follow Sarah. Y'all, look how simple that was. Judy got some of the drink splash and she loves it. It is so good. What is that? I forgot to give you one today. Uh, it is heavy, for sure. They do have different sizes, though. So maybe one of the other ones aren't quite as heavy. Y'all, I learned about the stable gun from Danielle, Bella the Barnes. She kept asking for her electric stapler, and I was like, what the heck is that? And then she pulled out that thing and started going to town on a little craft, and I was like, what the heck? I need two. It is heavy, somebody said. John, you're in her sign group. John, I'm in there too. I just don't show up for class. Don't tell Sarah. I'm more of a like 1 a.m. tech Sarah kind of person. Somebody just said, who is Rue? Oh, Julie Bishop asked who Rue was. Julie? Julie, where have you been, friend? A dog. Girl, the dog. He's the cutest dog on the planet. You love this? Okay. I'm not gonna, um, I'm not gonna... sell these for $56 on Etsy. Just like this. <laughs> Y'all should see Terry's face. I went right back into poverty mindset. <laughs> and they're selling so fast. What? I have 37 to print for tomorrow. But the, it's hilarious. <laughs> 37 to print for tomorrow. So this one is done and ready to ship out. Sarah is another Missouri girl. Where's she from? I don't know. Find out. Sarah Frost, where are you from? Okay, that one's done. Y'all, look how cute this one is. Okay, so this is a custom one that we're doing for people. Uh, you can choose your own saying and you can pick your two dogs. So this person has a boxer and a pit mix. 
and they chose <laughs> they chose what's on it, not me. That's the best. Um, it says absolutely no soliciting. The dogs answer the door, and they are a money monies. <laughs> uh, they the customer chose that, so I'm just making it. So the only thing you don't get to choose is the black line. You get to choose your dog and the same. Uh, Joanne says she grew up in Liberty, Missouri. I used to live in I used to live in Liberty, Missouri. Uh, she's just north of Kansas City, but we are stationed in Kansas now. She's at Fort Riley. You're about three and a half hours from. I told this customer I didn't know what I was going to do with the bow yet, and they were like, okay, just surprise me, because so I'm going to surprise me. <laughs> Alright, so let's go with about a 10-inch tail. Oh, I know where Excelsior Springs is. The what? That's her hometown, Excelsior Springs. Right. There's a haunted hotel there, a haunted resort. Sarah, there. if anyone asks you in a Booger County, y'all do it. <laughs> I don't know any details, I just know you don't go there. <laughs> don't go there. They reuse the KFC bucket, okay? They do a whole lot of things there that are fooey. Her family's in Kearney, she's at Riley. Oh yeah. My in-laws used to live right by Kearney, Missouri. That is right by where um, Jesse James' hometown is. The outlaw, Jesse James. Somebody asked when I lived in Liberty. I lived in Liberty from 2002 until 2003. But I'm originally from Raytown. All right, let's dovetail all these. So y'all, I cut all these in 10 inch strips. They didn't want like big loops. So I was like, I don't know if I can make it. But we're gonna, we're gonna see what we can do for them. Aaron is also in Kansas City. I feel like Tammy should have a Kansas City meetup. I have a Missouri meetup every quarter, but I haven't done it yet this year. But, I haven't done it since December. I do it every quarter, just not this year. You know we're in, why? We're in quarter two. You know why? Because Damon Oates ruined it, and I was scared to do do another one. But I am going to Kansas City. Jennifer is from June. Marshall, Missouri. If I go to Kansas City in June Beth, and I plan a meetup, will y'all show up? Because I really am going for a weekend. Beth is in Blue Springs. Yep. She's right by where I'm going, actually. Julie said her stepson is Jesse James. Sarah's site is Chasing Rue Designs, that's right. Up, oh, Marshall, I know where that's at. Look at all these Missouri people. I went to Kansas City a few times. Uh, to the plaza. Oh. Our friend used to have a store there. Alright, y'all, we're just going to layer all of these together. Give it a good little pinch. Then I'm going to find a pipe cleaner that used to be right here. We have a lot of Missouri people on I know. This is crazy. Andrew said she'll be there in a heartbeat. All right, we're going to tie that off, get it nice and tight. Where can you purchase a staple gun? This one came from the Home Depot, but I'm sure you can get them other places. 
Mine is the Aero brand. All right, so we got a little pipe thinner in there. Just gonna fluff that out, make it look a little less depressing. Grab some greens. Diane's in Seymour. My gosh, it's right down the street from my house. That's literally like 25 minutes from me. Did you go to the meetup when I was there, Diane? I don't feel like you did. If I knew he was coming, we would have had a hotel room meetup instead of being squished like sardines. They didn't even know I was going. I didn't know you were going. So it wasn't like there was more or less because I went. They need a Missouri retreat. This spring will be something announced in the spring. We cannot do it in the fall. We've learned our lesson. Can't do one in Missouri in the fall. We're too much of a tourist destination. And I did not realize that. What is the shipping price if you order online from me? Uh, it all depends. If you order in decoexchange.com, free shipping over $100. Uh, if you order in our Etsy store, it really just depends on what you purchase. And Tammy, let me put the screener on here without putting a door hanger. So I'm just going to hang it off the edge. Find my pin. Like, what do I smell that's burning? We're going to use one of our little pre-done door hangers because we're working smarter. You're from Medina, New York. Well, Beverly, I've been there too. Not going back. Uh, are you going to Crafters Convention, Tammy? Yes, I am. Are you, Dana? I am going to be on stage at Crafters yep. Convention. Y'all, I will be at Crafters Convention until till they say you're not on right. stage anymore. Right, right, right. right. I'm just going to be there. Just expect me to be there every year. Right, me too. Same. I will always go and support. It's a fun time, and we have the best networking ever. It's so much fun. You know, every time I've been to Crafters Convention, I said, how many of y'all in the audience have taken a class or you're in our coaching groups? Raise your hands. And almost every time, 90 to 99% of the room puts their hands up. I'm going to be there. Right. Every right. single year. That's what you do when your people it's, are there. It's like a chance for me to get to hang out with people and not be responsible. That's a good way to put that. <laughs> That's a I just get to show up and hang out. I mean, sometimes I have to go on stage. But for the most part, I just get to show up and hang out. And the whole circus ain't my circus. But you're always willing to throw in when the circus goes crazy. Listen, I'm always there to help. He's always helpful. From the first year when I pushed Scott out from behind the curtain. <laughs> y'all, if y'all don't know this, uh, Scott, at the very first Crafters Convention, y'all, the room was full of people. We're all backstage getting ready to go out. And Scott was like, it's canceled. I'm not doing it. Y'all, he got nervous. As much as he talks, as much as he gets on camera, he got nervous. So, two lessons there. Number one, you can count on me to push you out in the crowd. Number two, everyone is affected by some type of stage fright. Right. So if you're scared to go in front of the camera, just turn it on and go. Let me tell you what happened to him. He was like, I can't go out there. I'm like, Scott, let me tell you something. Whenever you see the faces of those people that are there to talk to you, it's gonna completely change the way you see it. Go ahead, peek your head out that curtain. And he did, and I said, bye! bye. <laughs> <laughs> and out he went. And then he couldn't turn around, it was too late. We closed the curtain back. Peace out. <laughs> He's never forgotten that. Ever. No. <laughs> he tells that story all the time. Somebody said Scott was catatonic. He really, he was scared to death. He was like just standing there. He still gets that way. Not as bad because he always looks to see if Damon's behind him. <laughs> <laughs> he was so scared. I felt bad. He was scared, scared. 
All right, so because this door hanger, the dogs are so high up and the words were so big, I wanted something a little bit smaller. So I just did a little flat bow and added our greenery back. That's awesome. It was even better watching, watching his face as he was being pushed out there. Oh, he just came on. He and said, then, oh, Lord. And then, <laughs> y'all, as soon as he got out there, he was a natural. He was it was just taking that first little push. Scott, we were talking about the first crafters convention when I kind of pushed you a little bit. <laughs> and we were saying how we'll always be there as long as we're invited. That she people can just people. people can just expect us to show up and be there without having to ask. And Scott says he tells that story all the time. I said that. He does. It's so funny. Y'all, look how cute. Super simple. Little bow, little bit of greenery, just to kind of bring it all together and make it look completed. The sign still cracks me up. Scott always shows up too, like for he does. You no know, one push events or whatever he tries to come. That's what you do when you have an audience. You got to show up where, where your people are going to be. Okay, y'all, this one kind of blows my mind every time I print it. Not just this one, but every time this design. Y'all, this wood stain is painted. That freaked me out. I did not know that until today. Now Scott can do that to someone else. He does push people all the time. Y'all, look at this. This is wood stain that is painted. How crazy is that? Check the volume. There's a chance that the volume is... We haven't used this Mevo in a long time. Nope, it's right. All right. Y'all, Scott, you got to get one of these staple guns and then let your assistants use it because you're going to staple yourself. I can see that coming. All right. It is nice that it has a safety feature. That just means like once you pinch your finger and staple, it's going to go. You love this sign with Rue and Einstein. Isn't that the cutest sign? Um, so I did, okay, if you get the deluxe wreath box, you can purchase extra signs from the deluxe box. So I did list all of this month's signs in there. And any of the circles you can get in 8, 10, 12 R door hanger. So you can order this one again in multiple sizes if you want. Tammy, what color ribbon should I do on this one? Let me see it again. Is it for, is it an order or no? Uh, this one is not. This is one that I just made to get photos of. I do you have that black and white dog print ribbon with a red? Uh, I always choose red, either red or turquoise. You know that, I always choose that. Those are my favorite colors. No, I don't sell the staple pins. What are the hooks called? Wire. What happened to Einstein? He flew away now. All right, let's try this one. Let's just cut uh, three pieces at 16. Somebody said, could you make that welcome sign to have cat hair instead of dog hair? Uh, it's listed. I was like, I think they already have that. Somebody said, my dogs don't shed. And Julie Bishop, Bishop said, well, that's no fun. <laughs> my dogs shed really bad. 
every dog sheds. It's like in their DNA to shed. Even my hairless dog sheds. Connie, where have you been? The bird flew away like three weeks ago. Lori's our people. She said, what'd y'all eat today? <laughs> we went, where did we go today? Oh, today's catch. catch. Yep, today's catch. And the Mexican joint. Y'all, it's Monday. Lots of places are not open on Mondays here. So if you can cook, you should open a restaurant that's only open on Mondays. Y'all, we're just doing the six inch fold, giving it a pinch, folding it over. Can I do a cat wreath soon? I'm allergic to cats. Did you really have the mustard chicken today? We sure did, but we did it in a salad. So it made us feel better. <laughs> Yeah, but then we dumped the salad out of the bowl and just ate the chicken, bowled egg, let, a little bit of lettuce and cheese and croutons. So we really just had mustard chicken with cheese and ranch. You have seven rescues? Me too. You have to sweep three or four times a day. Oof. A lot. Our house, Monday through Friday, gets swept and mopped every day. We vacuum every single day. Every single day. Because of all the dog hair. And your dog's a little. Oh. Honey, the Chawini sheds like crazy. I want to make the devil eggs this weekend. I want to. Yo, she has enough gas without devil eggs. They're so good. I don't get gas from devil eggs. I do not. Whatever we ate last night, though. <laughs> what did we eat last night? I don't know, but it was a situation. <laughs> Tammy, are you making devil eggs this weekend? I will if we're going to do cooking with the coaches. Why well, can't just be cooking with Tammy? No, no, friend, because you are an amazing cook, and you've got to make the main entree. What you know they won't eat my food. They'll eat my sides. They're not going to eat my food. What are we cooking? I don't know. I said even if we have to get hot dogs from Sonic and fake it till we make it. <laughs> so now she wants to have a Sonic hot dog. Do you have a Blackstone? With a deviled egg. Do you have a Do you have a Blackstone? No. You don't. Do you have a gas grill? We have something out there. Okay, we need That is not my department. I can cook. What do you want to eat? What do y'all want to learn how to cook? There, that's what we should be asking. My deviled eggs in the Instant Pot are amazing, though. The method is amazing. Isn't that just a boiled egg in the Instant Pot? No. The worst part of boiled eggs... Is it out? is peeling the eggs, and I'm going to show you how they there we fall go. off. So, do you know that you can just walk into the store and get bold eggs already? It's not the same. Absolutely not. How First is it not of the all, same? It's a bold egg. Because they probably were made six weeks ago. That's gross. An egg was made a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Do you mean, know where it came from? Well, still. Y'all, Tammy almost had a little heart attack today. We walked outside the building and there was a chicken looking at her. A chicken, like a real live chicken. I wonder about alligators. So, uh, evidently, they have spotted a 12 foot alligator swimming in the water right across from the warehouse. Wait a minute, in that ditch? Yeah, that's where they were at. And I warned them about them a couple weeks ago and she's worried about a chicken. Well, you know what? You know why I don't believe there's an alligator? If somebody had an overactive imagination, that chicken would still be running wild. That chicken's never been here before. I don't know where it came from. Yeah, that's a new one. But all the stray cats that used to be here are no longer here. Ooh. Have you not noticed that? Yeah. Is your resident raccoon still here? Nope. Oh. We've got 
better be careful walking in the car. Y'all, okay. I keep saying that these are my favorite little vines, but if you're not watching how easy these are in door hangers, 6914. I have a whole case for myself and I'm not sharing. But I did leave a case in inventory. I mean, it literally, it's wired from the very end to end, so it just folds right up into your bow. Look how cute that is. Everyone loves using the Instant Pot for boiled eggs. She also makes mac and cheese in her Instant Pot. I do. And everyone says it's delicious. It is good. I like it. I should get a Blackstone. I would love it. I'm not going to cook outside. Oh, man. I love my Blackstone. It's not for me, friends. My Blackstone is probably my favorite thing I ever bought for myself. Outdoors. I did okay. buy an umbrella and go for it. It's, it's like a thousand degrees here outside that you want to cook over the heat. Yeah. It's so good. I'm out, friends. I have a stove in the house that is gas with an AC. And I have pots from this size to this size. I got you covered. All right, y'all, look how cute this sun is with Rue and I'm sun. Closer? Yeah, I can zoom in down a little bit. Okay, people that were asking about the hanger, y'all, all I did was take this wire, measure out 36 inches, fold it in half three times, and I've got a little wire. Eleanor said, I guess you're not a camping person. No. You would not do well. I mean, you don't go camping in Louisiana summers. You go camping in the winter in Louisiana. Okay. Let me just tell y'all, uh, came an extra long time ago. This is what you do. Bring some bananas, some marshmallows, and some chocolate. Oh. And aluminum foil. Then you take your banana, like this, and you cut a little sliver out the middle, peel it back, and you put marshmallows and chocolate and marshmallows and chocolate and marshmallows, and you put that little sliver back on top, wrap it with aluminum foil, and toss it in the campfire until it's mushy. Just do it. You did that. I did that at Jackie's house. And it was absolutely delicious. Or, do you like me and just throw it in the oven while you sit in the AC and it's still the same. Tell people why you're here. I'm what? Tell people why you're here. Yes. I'm here because I'm chicken to fly and uh, true story. <laughs> I can hardly walk up this concrete. Holy moly, walk a moment. That's why you should be on the soft stuff. Okay. Oh my lord, have mercy on a bike. I really need you to come over here and hang them so I can see what color ribbons I used on that other one. Okay. Well, how are you guys? Right now, we just got a boob shot, so let's zoom out. Okay. All right. That's what I meant earlier today. That it was like they were laying on the table. Two toddlers fighting for attention underneath my shirt. Anyway, I'm here because the creative coaches are doing the backyard barbecue workshop this weekend. Did you guys know today's National Barbecue Day? Did y'all know that? I found that out today. So, we are doing a backyard barbecue workshop. It starts on Wednesday, and Marcus will be here Wednesday, yeah. and it's going to go through Saturday. And all the creative coaches are going to be here. And we have Marcus coming back for the balloon artist. And we have Derica, Coach Fancy, Mel, excuse me, Damon and I. And then on top of that, in the bonuses, I wish we had that one thing to show them. We have an amazing, we have an amazing arrangement of people doing bonuses for us. But one of them was Tammy Holes with Flippin' Furniture. And she did an amazing method. I can't tell you what it is, 
but she did a method on a guitar and it was it's the coolest thing I've ever seen so we have a ton of bonuses on top of that on top of you getting the regularly uh, scheduled coaches you're also going to get all the bonuses that are in the uh, on the Facebook page in the portal um, whenever you join the group if you're in creative coaching you're going to need to go to Makers University the Makers University log into your portal go to creative scroll down and you're going to see it that's how you're going to sign up if you're in creative coaching if you're not in creative coaching and you want to sign up what is the URL that you did Backyard Barbecue Workshop dot com. Backyard Barbecue Workshop dot com. So you're going to want to go there and check us out. Uh, Jordan's on his way. I talked him into coming in a day early. So he's going to be here tomorrow morning. I cannot wait. So we are so excited. We've got some really fun things planned. Uh, Derica's, Derica's No So Attachments are amazing as usual. But this the time, the bonus one is super cute. The bonus one is really, really cute. She did say that, but I didn't know what they were for. Derek apparently put together some door prizes to give away as well at our event. So we're super excited. Okay, y'all. Her bonus is amazing, Candace says. Listen. Is that tutorial up now? No. Not yet. The only thing that's going to match on this door hanger and the other door hanger and the wreath is going to be the bow, and I don't even care. It's still going on the door. So this is the one that we made a couple months ago. Oh, that's so cute though. So we made this one, but I only had one of the Rue Dogs and you needed another. for the front door. So I'm just gonna mix it up and I'll just be mix match and I'll just be double Rude. I don't even care. Are we doing giveaways again? Yeah, we yes. have a lot. We have a lot of door prizes. Okay, I think I'm just gonna use the one for a minute after I went down all of those. All right, so we're gonna cut uh, just three. So if you look at this door hanger, there's not a lot of space up here to add something. So I'm just gonna cut three of my ribbons at 18 inches. Somebody said I forgot to say Coach Jordan. No, I said Jordan was on his way here, so that's why I didn't mention him in with the others, because he's gonna be here already. I would never forget. need to order this sign. This sign was the bonus in the deluxe subscription box. So if you're in there, you should have gotten it. Y'all, that looks wonky. Oh, for some reason this is 20 inches. It's supposed to be 18. On this one, I want it to be just like this with a little bitty flap on the bottom and a long tail. And we're just going to put them together in a little triangle type shape. You love a little Einstein. It is super cute. You made a cute sign for Halloween. I bet I could convince her to swap out the watermelons for pumpkins and the pink for Halloween colors and just have Rue all year long. 
then swap them out for something Christmas, gift packages maybe. Sarah's probably like, what is he signing me up for? Is she going to fly home? No, she's making Mike come get her. She planned a whole vacation after this just so she wouldn't have to fly home. That's actually not totally true. <laughs> she needs a lot of somebody else. No, it's not. She we was were like, already what? going to be here. No. They wanted to go Father's Day weekend, and I said, I'm not, we were, I'm already going to be here. They wanted to go Father's Day weekend, and I said, I'm not going to be traveling again in June when I'm already traveling in May. So let's just do it in May. So that's what we did. She was like, mm. I could fly home or you could come get me and I'll just go to the beach house for a weekend. That was the winner. We know how, she, we know how this goes. What is the thickness of the board? It's a quarter inch. about 16 inches. Missy, whenever I saw Emily's live, she had like 96,000 people watching. All right, curl those edges just a little bit. Give it a good little ruffle down the middle. Gonna use a little bit of pipe cleaner here to strap this down. Can we order any of these door hangers? Uh, we do have a lot of them on decoexchange.com. If you want to make your own, if you want a completed one, just go to uh, decoexchange.etsy.com and you can grab one there. All right, so I left those little flaps. Now we left those little feet, that's where we're gonna staple. Y'all, I'm gonna do this right up here on the corner. Y'all, to think, uh, when I first met Emily, she did not wanna do live videos. Really? Oh, I didn't know that. She's so good at it. But she had a job that kept her a little bit more private. All right, so this little ruffle that we did here, I'm gonna sneak this piece right up underneath our bow. Then I'm gonna pull it behind it so that it ruffles out like a little flower. And then I'm gonna put a staple up here on the back to hold it around. Who's having a baby? Listen, we'll have the baby shower later. Nobody is having a baby. Actually, Rachel in the warehouse, Rachel that also works at Desi's. Yeah? Is having. Shit, I don't know. Never mind. She sent me a photo. Oh. Dang, man. Might have just outed you. Oh, that's not good. I mean, everyone at the warehouse knows. That's the only people who watch. Oh, Lord. I'll find out. If not, surprise! Surprise! 
I'm really thinking if I could get some flowers in here, but I don't think I will. But Tammy's excited again for the other one. We also tried to get her to adopt two today. You know what? After that, I saw two hairy ones that also need a home, and they're super cute little sad faces. Don't tell me that. I'll end up with like six of them. Go on home. All right. Now I'm going to add a little bit of greenery. Tina just signed up for the backyard awesome. barbecue. Y'all, this time, because I added that mesh in there, I'm going to just go ahead and glue these. Right into our ruffle. Can I do a shih tzu on the side? So if you go to decoexchange.etsy.com and you pull up the dog signs, uh, I have a whole list of the different breeds that I can do. So far, every breed that someone's asked for, we've been able to get it done. Today I even did a puppy version of one. What needs adopting? Beth, a lot of dogs. Evidently there was a situation uh, near here where someone had like 70 dachshunds and dachshund mixes and the rescues have been working hard to get them all placed. Okay, y'all, Ruin and Einstein are done. So whenever you add the mesh in there, it's gonna make it look a lot bigger without using a lot of ribbon. And the mesh is a little bit cheaper, just so you're aware. All right, y'all, I also did, uh, if you buy from Etsy, you have the option to get a background that coordinates with the front of your sign. So if your customer is using a glass door or if you have a glass door, uh, you can get a sign that matches front and back. So this one's the watermelon seeds. Uh, thank you for fixing the volume in the warehouse. I literally didn't do anything. I just clicked a button and then it was already done. But I'm glad it helped. You have five. Oh, you would love one or five of those. If you send us a picture of the dog, can you assign with it? Right now we're only doing the black and white photos of the dogs. Uh, we're not taking like custom photos of people's pets. All right, y'all. I think this is my favorite one. Super cute. I like the wood grain. Me too. So on this one, we have one that says uh, pet hair, cat hair, or dog hair. I wish I knew the number. It's like Deco 641, maybe. I could be making that up. I'm usually not wrong, though. Is it in the app? I'm usually not wrong. So let me just go. 641? Deco-64. Did not come up with that. Y'all, that says it's a roll of sublimation paper. We don't even sell sublimation paper, so. Hang on. Deco exchange, new shop, new. Uh, 6.31. I was off by 10. So 6.31 is pet hair, 6.32 is dog hair, and 6.33 
is cat. If you just put welcome dog hair, welcome cat hair, welcome pet hair, they'll show up. Uh, we also, Beth, if you're here, I got the baseball one listed today. Um, three baseball ones. We've got a blessed or the peacemakers. That's it. All right, y'all. That's it for tonight. It's been a long day. Um, I will see y'all at some point tomorrow. Well, tomorrow is Pinterest. I wonder if Mel's still covering for me tomorrow night. I'll ask. That would be really good if she was. That way we could uh, do some promoting after. I think she's supposed to cover for me every Tuesday for the rest of the month. And then I'm going to do Thursdays. Which would be good because she goes live. Thursday, so then Thursday, she would have to go. twice. All right, y'all. Have a good night. Um, I think that's it.